Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with Rosie and we just wanted to update you on all of our treats. See, we have a big pink box full of stuff and this is definitely going to be one of Rosie's favourite videos to be in today. We're just going to get started straight into the video and just show you everything that we've got. The first thing that we have are these dandelion and nettle roots and Rosie isn't actually too keen on these. The first box I'm going to start out with is definitely one of Rosie's favourites and this is just an assortment of different treats. Rosie loves it when I get this box out so I'm just going to have to be very careful because she's not supposed to have any treats today. So as you can see there's lots of different things in here which I'm going to show you. Okay I'm going to start out with the pick and mix treats first of all. So we have some stripy sawneys some of the apple bakes, munchy wheels, there's some of these lucky hearts, I think these are called lucky hearts, I might be, oh I've just dropped it, <laughs> I might be wrong though. There's these carrot bakes, uh, lucky clovers and I think that's all. There's these wag carrot bakes. These are the Naturals Lucky Hearts. We have one of these Munchy Wheels left. I can't quite remember the brand of this treat though, so. And then we've got one remaining Apple Strudel Biscuit, which is the Pets at Home's own brand sort of treat. So that's everything that we happen to have in there. Again, this is a box that I don't always tend to come to because as you can tell, they are very sugary, very fattening and not very healthy at all. So, I just try and leave this box alone as much as I possibly can. The next box that I have isn't necessarily one of Rosie's favourites just because I don't always tend to come to this one at all. The first thing that's stored in here is just one of these little gnaw block sort of things. And this used to be absolutely covered with petals but then Rosie decided that she'd just chew them all off. And then stored in here we just have some of these alfalfa bales. Again, we just don't really come to this very often. I just saw Rosie's nose. There's also a few of these Supreme Science Selective pellets in here. So yeah, there's like loads of bales in here, but again, I just don't tend to come to here very often. So inside the next three boxes that I'm gonna show to you, we have lots more sort of healthy sorts of treats. So I'm just gonna have a look in this one. In here, there is the Naturals I think it's it's either Ginkgo or Jinkgo Plus, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's just lots of different sorts of hay in here, it's so so green and it actually feels really nice as well. I think that these are the Jinkgo or Ginkgo leaves and Rosie just absolutely adores this to bits. There isn't that much in here so I tend to put about this much in her food bowl at times, not every day because I do like these to last, but this is the only sort of box that isn't mixed with any other sort of brand, so this is just a brand on its own and it's by the Naturals range. This is the next box of treats that we have, it's just one of these large plastic celebrations boxes and there is lots of different brands in here. The first brand, uh, which contains these dried vegetable sorts of things, is the Burgess XL packet mixtures. I think this is the beetroot mixture. So there's just lots of different things mixed in as well. There's also a mixture of the Naturals Dandelion Delight, which is, I think, these bits. And then right at the bottom, there's the Woodlands Range Herbal Forage, I think it's called. I might be wrong, but definitely what it's called, something similar to that. This is the third box of herbage and forage sort of things that we have. As you can see it's packed full to the top. This one only contains two different brands and on top there is the Naturals Dandelion Delight and then I think some's actually come to the top but it's the Woodlands Apple and Blackcurrant Leaves so Rosie just adores that box to bits. <laughs> now this box is one of Rosie's favourite boxes in the whole world because this contains all of the jars and packets of treats. I have had a clean out of this as you can see. It's a lot different to the last storage video that I did so we're just going to have a closer look at what's inside. So I'm going to start with the items that you have in the jar first. First of all, this is one of my little DIY design sort of jars. As you can see, the gems have come off, so I need to replace those. This contains a packet mixture of the Naturals Healthy Fruit Salad, I think it's called. 
as you can see there's lots of different sorts of dried fruit and vegetables in here I think there's things like carrot these little berry type things here's a dry carrot there's also some banana chips in there so this is a very sugary sort of treat for Rosie so I don't really tend to give her much from here but she'll just have things like this <laughs> here is the second jar which contains again some more sugary sorts of treats in here there is some dried banana chips very sugary treats not very healthy at all but Rosie really loves them so I just give these to her about once a month maybe even less to be quite honest I don't come to this box much at all then in the final jar that we have these treats don't actually belong to Rosie believe it or not because last pets at home haul which is when I showed you these hearts and I explained that I completely forgot to read the ingredients and I was saying how annoyed that I was that I completely forgot to read all the compositions and things but loads of you recommended that I feed these to the birds and I fed these to the birds and they go crazy for this they just ate it immediately and they just love this uh, as you can see you can probably notice all the different sorts of seeds and things in there which is just really really unhealthy for our bunnies so I don't recommend that you feed these at all <laughs> and then the last packet of treats that we have are these naturals fenugreek crunchies and these were sent to us by bunny box and I'm just leaving them in their packets so that they don't go off or just so that they stay a lot fresher than usual and these are one of Rosie's absolute favourites she loves fenugreek and aromatic crunchies and things like that so so thank you for watching everyone we really hope you enjoyed this little updated storage sort of video on Rosie's treats thank you for watching and we'll see you again in my next video bye